There's only three days left to buy your tickets for lightcastbootcamp.com. I'm not doing this series again, folks. Come on down, at least take a look at the video, see what we're doing. This is a special opportunity to come into your light, to come into your power, and take control of your reality. That's at lightcastbootcamp.com. Hello, Your Royal Majesty, and welcome now to Wednesday. Well, partly cloudy and pensive today for the Royalty of the Zodiac, but before I say that, I do want to say happy birthday to the Royal Queen, Julie Zipper. Happy birthday, Julie. Julie's a beautiful light and has been with us for so long, and I just want to send my love and gratitude to this beautiful angel. Happy birthday, sweetie. The entire garden loves you like crazy. And she has a Libra rising, so... Partly cloudy and cool, Julie. <laughs> We've got a moon in Libra, so emotions and thoughts are mixing together uh, for the Leos. And you know, this is where Leos tend to fall out of balance. Your mind. You slip in your mind. That's what Saturn in Libra is about. Getting that mind and attitude on track and learning how to make good decisions. Okay? Uh, this is a time to be decisive. And you know, if you're empowered with the decision-making criteria, it's all good. And you know what that is? If you love it, aim that way. If your mind has love behind the thought, good. If it doesn't, why are you thinking that? And today emotions might trigger some of that. But also there's an ego trigger. We're in chapter two of Sun and Leo. The moon is ruling the day. And so your ego is particularly, you know, feisty. Now that's okay, because it's under construction. Remember our ego state of awareness is the little doggy that goes and fetches the cute guy at the bar or you know, barks when the stranger comes or rolls over to be cute. Really, our ego is just a cute little puppy. But you're under reconstruction of your ego. A lot of Leo's out there getting new haircuts. <laughs> I told you I would. And so today, emotions and thoughts are teaching about ego, but they're also teaching about clean thoughts. Then there's Mars. Mars is deep diving into the subconscious. So yes, last month's weeding of your soul garden and getting deep on what's in the way of your psychic state of awareness. Mars is there now with a big weed whacker. So if you identified something that needs to go, you're going to find you have the energy and resources to do it. So clear it out, get rid of it. Let's get it gone. Then there's Skip Jennings, our urban mystic who's live today. Skip in his sleeveless shirt. He's doing good. Uh, diving into love vibration, looking like a stud and talking about expanding love vibration. Uh, and exploring love vibration. Of course, he's got a seven-day challenge. That's good. Can you hold love vibration for seven days? And an affirmation uh, for you today. Don't miss him. He's live everywhere. We are shining. Well, my royal majesty, that's all I have for hump day. But I will be back tomorrow to play. Until then, live, love, be. So God.